The plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, estimates that a total of 520 tons of highly radioactive water leaked into the sea from a pit near the number two reactor. The company adds that the radiation level of the water probably reached 4,700 trillion becquerels. In Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, highly radioactive water had been leaking from the pit of Unit 2 into the sea. The leak was confirmed on April 2nd and continued to flow until it was stopped on April 6th. TEPCO says that assuming the leak actually started on the previous day, on April 1st, the total of 520 tons of water must have flown into the sea and the total amount of radiation released is estimated to reach 4,700 trillion becquerels. This is equivalent to about 1 7,000 of the amount of radiation released into the atmosphere from the number two reactor and its spent fuel pool, as was announced by TEPCO when the seriousness level of the accident was upgraded to seven in the international scale. Spread of radioactive materials in seawater has become a serious issue. The seawater sample collected near the water intake in Unit 2 contained a very high level of radioactive iodine-131, reaching 7.5 million times higher than the control level. To prevent further spread of contaminated water into the sea, TEPCO installed a metal board called Water Stopper. The radiation level began to drop after the board was installed, and the readings of radioactive iodine-131 as of Tuesday fell to 1,200 times the control level. At the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, high levels of radioactivity in the reactor buildings continue to make it difficult for workers to get inside. So the plant operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, has sent in robots, which are revealing just how difficult the task of bringing the situation under control will be. Last Sunday and Monday, decimeter-equipped robots entered the number one and number three reactor buildings to measure the radiation dose inside. The number three unit could not be measured, but the number one unit measured 18.9 millisieverts in 50 minutes and number two 6.46 millisievert in 50 minutes. The level is too high for workers to continue working for a length of time. This TEPCO official says the radiation dose is slightly high. The images taken by the robots show there are various difficulties in carrying out the repair work. The floor of the number three unit is covered with debris. There is more. TEPCO says the ladder was blown away and is now on the wall. Inside, to the right. The control panel door, which should be closed, was left open. It is easy to see the impact of the hydrogen explosion which occurred at the number three unit on the 14th of last month. If there is damage to the power source facilities, this could hamper restoration. No shit. As TEPCO official says, the current condition will make the work inside the reactor buildings difficult. There will probably be need to decontaminate and shield the buildings and remove the debris. TEPCO believes the immediate task will be to consider how to reduce the radiation level. The company will plot the dose measurement along the robot's pathway on drawings and analyze the situation. Well, Japan's self-defense forces are studying the possibility of helping move people out of the 20-kilometer zone around the plant. Some people, such as the elderly and those in nursing care, are unable to evacuate by themselves. 
The self-defense forces and local municipalities have found that several dozen people are still living in the area, which will be legally designated as off-limits on Friday. The SDF, the SDF is considering driving these people out of the area in SDF vehicles if they're requested to do so by local governments. And they're also considering taking evacuated people to their homes in the off-limits areas for short visits and then decontaminating them after the trips.